Are you struggling to leave your Christian upbringing behind? On this episode of the Shadow Path Diabolus, we will give you some suggestions to help you overcome this very common problem. Over the past few years, we've noticed a trend within both Diabolism and Satanism, and that is people leaving our religions to go back to Christianity. We believe this is due in part to the fact that too many people who come to Diabolonian religions listen to atheistic Satanists when it comes to how to deal with their past. If you come from a family who believe in the Christian God, it is highly unlikely that you are going to be able to convince yourself that the Christian God doesn't exist just because you choose not to believe in Him. At best, you may be able to suppress your belief in Him for a period of months or years until something happens spiritually that scares you, whether that is an experience with a being such as an angel or jinn or some other spiritual force that atheists have tried to tell you doesn't exist. Once that happens, people are usually caught off guard in panic because something that they have convinced themselves does not exist has now been confirmed to be a reality. And this may lead them to entertain the idea that hell or possibly the Christian God may exist as well. We have found the answer is not to suppress your belief in the existence of the Christian God, but to acknowledge him as just another entity that exists in the universe who tries to represent himself as more powerful than he actually is. Some of us in Shadow Path Diabolism acknowledge the existence of the Christian God, but do not regard him as the creator of the universe or of mankind. They regard him as a parasitic entity that feeds off the pain and misery of his followers. The best way to deal with him, if you do indeed believe he exists, is not to deny it, but to acknowledge him as the parasitic entity he is and just go on living your life without giving him the attention he so desperately wants. The problem is that many diabolists come to their religion with a deep-seated belief in the Christian God, whether they want to admit it or not. They still hold on to many of the beliefs their family raised them in, but handle it in one of two ways, either by suppressing that belief for as long as possible, or by spending all their time committing blasphemous acts against the Christian God they no longer believe in, including declaring themselves atheists. This may hold until they have spiritual or life experiences that challenge their avoidance strategies, at which point they regress to their childhood beliefs. It is far better to focus your energy on embracing Diabolonian practices for their own sake. Focus your time and energy on studying texts that you consider to be sacred. It is extremely important to create your own moral code based on sacred texts and on what you believe the gods stand for. Brother Nero, for example, uses a combination of sacred texts, personal experience, pre-Christian Stoic philosophy, Bushido, and the Havamal as the basis of the code by which he lives his daily life. Without a personal code to guide your decisions, you can become lost when moral issues arise. It is vital to understand that engaging with ethical issues is an essential part of one's religious growth and a necessary practice in shadow path diabolism and like prayer, not something which belongs exclusively to the Abrahamic religious traditions. All religions have a code of ethics of some sort. We also recommend that you embrace pre-Christian holidays and traditions, while at the same time deliberately avoiding things that are based in Christianity, such as Christmas, Easter, etc. Even though most of the holidays, such as Christmas and Easter, are pagan in origin, acknowledging their later Christian identities may trigger any feelings of guilt still embedded in the psyche and revive old fears. It is best to avoid the Christian observances, especially if you are a new diabolus. All of this is simply to help those troubled by their Christian upbringing. But it does not apply to all diabolus, of course. And the same rules could apply to someone coming from Judaism or Islam and should be adapted to free a person from the oppressive traditions and customs of those religions. Diabolism is a positive, life-affirming religion in its own right not a religion defined by rebellion against Abrahamic religious traditions. We should focus on our devotion to Satan and building practices and traditions dedicated to Satan and the demonic gods in our own lives. That's all for today. May Satan be with you. And if you would like to hear more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and like this video.